Memorial Day weekend almost here with more than 300,000 people expected to descend upon Las Vegas to celebrate. Las Vegas Weekly's Brock Radke is here with the big parties attracting so many of those vis visitors over the long weekend. And Brock, let's get into Dead Mouse on the cover of this week's yeah. Memorial Day weekend issue. And uh, one of your staff writers uh, scored an exclusive interview. Uh, Leslie Ventura, what did she find? Yeah, yeah Dead Mouse doesn't give very many interviews. Not anymore. at all. But uh, he's back. He, he hasn't had a residency in Vegas for about four years. And uh, Leslie went over to Chaos where, at the Palms where he's a resident now. It's a really cool story, actually. I think even if you're not into electronic dance music, it's pretty fascinating because it's all about, it's an only in Vegas story. It's all about the things that he's doing with his residency there that he can't do anywhere else in the world. When Leslie sits down with Dead Mouse, does he still look like Dead Mouse? I mean, does he have the whole thing on? Is it is the gear included? The mouse helmet was involved, yes. <laughs> Yes. She actually used the word demousified in the story, <laughs> which I thought was brilliant. I'm just picturing that interview. Gosh, I, I really need to, to finish that article up. Memorial Day weekend, one of the biggest club weekends. What are some of the other hundreds of thousands of visitors going to be doing up and down the boulevard? Well, besides chaos, the other new pool party this season is at the Nomad Hotel at Park MGM. That's a smaller, kind of a more intimate uh, party, but they got some big names over there. Quest Love is DJing mm, on sure. Saturday, and uh, Mark Ronson is there on Sunday. So Quest that's Love gonna be a lot of fun. Taking a break from late night television. Yeah. yeah, he's a busy guy. What is it in terms of? Do you see the club draws continuing to go up? You have more and more celebrities. The celebrities seem to be getting bigger, and are the crowds also growing with it? There is, seems to be so much more of a draw on the strip these days. Yeah, definitely, especially for day clubs and pool parties. I think there's still a lot more potential in that particular aspect of Vegas entertainment. I mean, a place like Chaos wouldn't be able to open if there wasn't a lot more room to grow in that area. And speaking of growing May, one of the going down in Las Vegas is one of the biggest months ever for club business. And uh, Cinco de Mayo, EDC Wakens coming off that. The other thing that I was thinking is with population growing, you know, the Raiders coming to town, this is going to just keep getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. You guys got a lot of future articles Once to write. Once football starts, <laughs> these club parties are going to be insane if they aren't already. Gosh, you're just a, a year away from that. You'll have a lot to write about, I'm yeah, sure. We're ready. Thanks, Brock, for your time. Again, this is in the very latest issue. There's the cover. And he kept the gear on. He kept the headgear on during the interview with Leslie. You can pick up that issue of Las Vegas Weekly about all of the incredible club activities for this weekend, as well as that exclusive interview with Dead Mouse. Ted, I'm just trying to picture you doing weather with that on. I could do it. I know I, you I could. I pull it off. I, want I don't you think to. I'd see much, though, but uh, I could try. I want you to. <laughs> really? Yeah, you know, it's All Memorial right. Day weekend. You might as well. All right, let's, let's do it. Club is probably a good place for you to be, too, this weekend, because I'm not sure if a lot of people are going to want to be outdoors, especially if it's raining on Sunday. And here's the thing is usually our past uh, Memorial Day weekends, you can barbecue, you've been on yeah. the lake. 